Is this finally a game changer in the world of smartwatches? Redmi Watch 4 seems to take all the boxes being the perfect one for less than $100. But is it? Let's inspect. This is what I feel is going to make a lot of current smartwatches sort of redundant because of the well pretty awesome displays. You can see the excellent health and sports tracking features and the pretty decent smartphone app. And great to meet you on the channel. My name is Ali the 5M Tech over here. We insect a lot of cool and interesting tech, and I guess we're in for a thorough review of the Redmi Watch Generation 4. Already and surprisingly, Redmi released two versions of the watch, a Chinese edition as well as a global version, both sharing the same hardware but having certain differences about the software. If you ever get to buy the Chinese edition, you're going to be able to use most of the features. There are going to be a few extra apps usable in China only, and the NFC inside won't work internationally. Price is around $90 a bit more than the CMF watch, but kind of less than similarly designed devices by MS Vet and Huawei. Not to mention famous true smart watches such as Apple Watch and Galaxy Watch series. The strap is very different to what I expected. It's proprietary but removable, feels very solid, and although it's locking via button as opposed to a buckle, it is reliable enough. Used for the first time with a Series A Pogo pin charger, the same as the cable used for Mi Band and Red Mi Band series lately, and the size appears to be large on the side. This is a multifunctional crown button. The frame is made of aluminium alloy, and so far it's easy to say that in terms of design and construction Redmi Watch 4 is as good as some devices that are 2, 3, even 4 times more expensive. If you care about specifications, there's the ultra-large 1.97-in AMOLED display, a fairly large 470 mAh hour battery, advanced positioning system including GPS advanced health tracking sensors, speaker and microphone, the watch is water resistant and in surprisingly in terms of software powered by you guess it right, HyperOS. It is the first ever watch running HyperOS. And I think HyperOS in smartwatch is a revolution in tech industry. It performs very smooth and much faster than Android. I must say if you once drive this watch you will become a fan of HyperOS. It works perfectly with the apps and sensors. I don't think I have noticed any glitch or lag in the OS. About the specifications, some of them are actually great. The display pretty awesome. It's one of the largest in the industry, and it's AMOLED technology to be precise, LTPO, which is very similar to what Apple are deploying with their Apple Watch series. However, the brightness is not as high, but at 600 nits maximum brightness. I think that's more than enough even on a bright day. So that's my take on the Redmi Watch 4. If you wonder whether you should get it, I think so yeah. You should give it a try. Thank you very much for watching this review. In case you have a question or you want to share your experience or thoughts, the comments are the right place to do it. If you want to buy the watch or find a way to support my work here on the channel. And thank you in advance for that check the video description area. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day, live a healthy life, and I guess I'll see you soon. Bye.